When it comes to the beat, ain't nobody coming for me. You really doing a seminar with Christian? Like, I'm telling you. That's, that's them six like people. Money to buy them says some contradicting things. Do you not know when it that the brain would defend the itself? Ain't nobody coming they said this and they said that. And, and what you gonna do about it? If I was you, I, nope. Not, I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not scared no more, Linda Wilson. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's why you don't have to open your mouth. Why you got so many words? Yeah, this is the reason why I don't move when I hear crazy stuff about me. You want to say something on my page? I'm going to say something back. No, you're not making her look contradicting like that. It's allegations of extreme violence are what's outlined in this Atlanta police report. Juanita Bynum being kicked out here in the Renaissance parking lot. So I had the brick behind me like this. So the closer he got, he started looking. He said, put that brick down, girl. I said, Wesley, I will knock your head. That's right. That's right. My girl, Leandria Johnson. Okay, Jamal Bryant, he blocked us. Who knows those tres cuatro, nigga? Oh my god. Okay. Get your shit together. Or put it in a shit museum. I don't care what you do. You just gotta get it together. It's your boy Rico Bellucci with another episode of The Urban Binge on YouTube. I wish we were on FM. I wish we were on AM. I wish we were on iHeartRadio. I wish we were on somebody fucking streaming radio service or whatever they have out here now for um, cheap people like me to go and express themselves on radio. I wish. Instead, I'm on YouTube with their bullshit regulations, um, and their bullshit guidelines, and their bullshit rules. I know when you talk about YouTube, I think, I think they know. Maybe it's like a keyword they type in. Who said something about YouTube? Oh, you said something about YouTube? Okay, got something for your ass. Nobody watching this kind of video. Then you go back and only. 30 people watch your video. When in, in, in the last video, 100,000 watch your video. So one fucking thing, these big companies you cannot go up against. These big companies you really can't. If you ain't got no money, you ain't got the means to go up against them, then don't even try it. Sit your peasant ass down and don't try to go up against them. Because going up against them, um, could drain you hell. They ain't gonna be drained. They can drain your ass. Sorry, I'm trying to set this. Anyway, um, there are a few things that happened over the past couple of days, over the past couple of weeks that I wanted to talk about. I feel really alone. Typically, Jay would be sitting here with me, but we broke up. Um, so, I'm here in the studio by myself. <sighs> We broke up, but he's right there. He's sitting right there. Say hey. Baby, it's a joke. Damn. Damn. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. You're just being a bitch. You're sitting over there rolling your eyes at me now. Hey guys, I'm your boy Rico Bellucci. I think I already said that with another Urban Binge video. Okay, yeah, I think I already said that. Anyway, let's get started. So, see, I'm not even... Recording. I still love you okay. to my last days. Finally. I never knew that. Okay, see, see, how does this work? I, I, I want to record without playing this. I thought I see awards in a glass case. <laughs> Baby, what is going on? There's no way to record without I, this playing. What? I don't want this to play. <laughs> I need this recording though. <sighs> Okay, so if I'm syncing this sound, um, I really f***ed up royally because I was supposed to start off by saying, what's up guys? Da -da 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 -da. Gotta get you, gotta get you. Anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, anyway. Um, so I've came up, I've, da -da -da. But, um, I'm gonna create a new folder. Here in desktop. It's any goddamn way. 
the light that went out. It's always something, right? Oh my god, I just waste all my god. No, it didn't go on the floor at all. Son of a bitch. I was hoping it was on the floor. Excuse me, no, please don't get upset. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, anytime Jake gets upset, I get scared because he's gonna beat my ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, see what I'm saying? That's why you get so worried about the shit I put in here because you know that most times if I say something, I'm probably gonna keep it, right? I know. You know, when I look at some of these other Aquariuses, honestly, when I look at some of these other Aquariuses, I really, I really be thinking, um, like, damn, am I like them? You know what I'm saying? No, you don't, you don't really get what I'm saying. <laughs> First of all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that um, bell so that you can be notified of every video that we post. Um, I know that we're not as interesting as other people, or I'm not as interesting as other people. Guess what? That's not going to stop me. I'm just going to um, come on here as my authentic self every time. Do they give you back your money? I'm going to... Oh, my God. Really? Um, anyway, so there's a few things I wanted to come to you guys about. Um, and I was supposed to make this video on Sunday, but more things begin to happen um, on Monday and Tuesday and everything. So as you know, on Monday, I believe a, um, I think some video or something was released of Kirk Franklin going off on his son. Um, and so I wanted to talk about that and I want to talk about some other stuff, but my opinion about the Kirk Franklin thing, I'm going to give that last. I have a lot to say about that. And this was going to be like a whole video, but instead I said, you know what? I'm going to separate the church stuff, the church mess from the worldly mess. Uh, anyway, nevertheless, the first thing I wanted to talk about is my girl, Leandria Johnson. Okay, um, I know a lot of people um, love Leandra Johnson. I love Leandra Johnson Hill. Um, like Karen Clark Shield was my favorite gospel singer. Anybody that know me know that. But Leandria came Leandria around, came and it was like she had the voice and she the anointing. Karen Clark Shield, I grew up liking her mostly because of her voice. Um, she didn't really make me cry or go into the spirit. No matter what song it was. I mean, you got Praying Spirit. Oh, the glory of your presence. All of that. Like, I never really cried off any of Karen's worship songs. But, but I will say, but I will say that um, I did, um, huh? But I will say that I did um, kind of, um, I, I learned a lot. She was like a teacher growing up. So where um, I think I would listen to runs and stuff, she really gave it to me. But Leandria, on the other hand, she has the voice and the anointing um, that breaks my yokes. Um, not, not everybody yokes can be breaking by everybody. So some people are touched by Hezekiah Walker. He never touched me. I'm just saying. Um, I love Hezekiah Walker. Um, but Hezekiah Walker doesn't really do much for me. Um, people like um, William Murphy. Now, come on. You ain't never been touched by William Murphy blowing, blowing a song out the water. Then I don't know what to tell you. Because William Murphy, that man is a worshiper. He is truly a worshiper. So um, he's one of the ones that I that I listen to on a daily and I get fed by on a daily um, William Murphy. 
uh, Leandra Johnson, B. Slade. Of course, y'all don't even want me to get started with B. Slade. Hence the intro. Make sure you go Google B. Slade. Stream, download his music. Tony. as well. I know, JJ. Oh, damn, you obsessed with this man. I am. No, I'm not obsessed. Don't say that. No, I'm not. I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed with him. But yes, I do. Yes. No, 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 no. But I do love him. See, hook up your mic. Give me the cord, please. Well, can you sit here on the edge? Give, can you move the mic then? Just give me the mic at least. Oh, there you go. I hear you. Say hello. Hello. Hey, baby. You're on. And don't want to be. Why? Why are you doing me like that? Hello, 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 hello. Why are you doing that? What do you mean you don't want to be on? Because I just don't. Um, okay, so when you want to talk, then I'll just bring your mic in. Okay? We'll just bring your mic in. Okay? Can you hear me? It closed out again. Wow, really? I'll just bring your mic in. Anyway, we bought a new editing system and stuff, so we're going to try to work that out as well with this video. I could have went live and did a live stream, but we didn't do a live stream. So, um, so I, I have you on, Jay. So you're on. You just need to talk into the mic when you want to talk. I wish I can live stream this, but you know what? We'll live stream this sooner or later. Baby, my head is touching the top, so I... Oh, my God. Okay. Show where we're going. You're the on the court. It's on the court. It's on the court. It's still on that court. What are you doing? What are you doing? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Thought, it was, thought it was at least giving me the outside. Okay. Now I feel like I am. <sighs> then get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit. Or put it in a shit museum. I don't care what you do. You just got to get it together. Get your shit together. Anyway, Leandria Johnson, she, my God, um, she basically posted a, 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 a controversial, is what she called it, a controversial nude. Um, I believe, see, Leandria's Aquarius. So you have to understand that Leandria's the type where she's going to do things unapolo unapologetically. Um, whatever she feels she's going to do. Oh my God, what is this in this cup? Or anyway, our next it's always note, some shit. I know it always is. The next thing is I wanted to talk about um this damn Sarah Jakes and Chris Jenner. Like they are really trying to chase the bag right now. You would never expect you would never expect Sarah Jakes and Chris Jenner to partner up for a church seminar. Um, I'm really assuming that this is going to <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to mix up the um, godliness with money and financial stability. Um, it's what I'm assuming this this seminar is going to be about. Pause it. I'm assuming this seminar is going to be about having money and being godly at the same time. Because what can Chris Jenner provide me? At the same seminar that Sarah Jakes can feed me at. You know, I'm not understanding what they can give besides telling me how to manage my money in a godly way. You know, when I mix those two up. Um, but when I look at that, all I see is Chase in the back. You know, I've always heard that Chris Jenner is a money hungry bitch. And Sarah Jakes, we know who her father is. That's T.D. Jakes' daughter. So um, over the years, it's been said that he's money hungry and he takes money and blah, 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 blah. Um, although being a powerful pastor, man of God, with a mega church. Man of God. Right. Um, it just makes me look at Sarah Jakes like, 
you know, the, it makes me... Girl, is you after the corn, too? Right. Just after the corn, because you really doing a seminar with Christian. But I think the seminar will be great, regardless of how I feel about it. I think it's going to be a great seminar, and I do think only three people will walk out and learn something. <laughs> Because <laughs> like I'm need to telling you, that's them three or four like people. <laughs> <laughs> really, we're not even going to that yet. Wait, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. but you know what? <laughs> you know what? Though I do like that. I like that Chris Jenner. Now that Trump is out of office, a lot of white people who were secret Trump supporters are now turning to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Amen. He'll do it. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. Amen. Juanita Bynum. Right. Now, Jay was just talking about how one of the Bible says those those three likes people. So, so listen, I call myself a member of the Bynum Ministries. Okay. I do consider myself a full blown member of the Bynum Ministries. I don't know if Jay does. I believe he does because we've both been fed by her. Mm-hmm. We both and man cannot get fed live by, by bread alone. Bread alone. Have to get fed with the word. The word. Anyway, Wanting to Bynum usually doesn't do this. Okay, we know that um, in the past, Wanting to Bynum has done some contradicting things. Okay, we know that. We know that she has spoken, speaking, spoken out, speaking out against <laughs> homosexuality in the past at Rod Parsley Church. At different camp meetings and stuff like that. Then she let the gays carry the Arch of the Covenant. And I had the greatest honor at the end of Bring Back the Glory in Philadelphia. We had the men of God to come to New York to get the Ark of the Covenant. And they took the Ark of the Covenant up to Philadelphia. And when they took the Ark of the Covenant up to Philadelphia, um, They were supposed to, when the meeting was over with, bring it back. Well, something happened to their schedules because we took the meeting three days longer than it was originally planned for. And so when it came down to going to get the ark, walking it out of the church, putting it in the truck, bringing it back, nobody was left at the end of the meeting but my sons. The three that people say was homosexuals. And they just, whatever. And my Nana and the prayer warriors was like, we don't have nobody here. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. And they fell out in the floor weeping and crying because they could not believe that I would ask them to carry that Ark of the Covenant. But why not? They hard to appear before God. The Lord has transitioned their lives. They walk in as much love for God as anybody else do. But who are we to call to judge anybody? To judge anybody. And it was an honor for them, an overwhelming honor for them to pick that ark up and carry it. And it kind of, kind of, it did something to me. That's all I could say. It, it did something to me. I can't explain, I can't explain this feeling All I can say is that, you know, when I say we're called to different things, let me tell you what I mean by that. And I had the greatest honor at the end of Bring Back the Glory in Philadelphia. We had the men of God to come to New York to get the Ark of the Covenant. And they took the Ark of the Covenant up to Philadelphia. And when they took the Ark of the Covenant up to Philadelphia, um, They were supposed to, when the meeting was over with, bring it back. Well, something happened to their schedules because we took the meeting three days longer than it was originally planned for. And so when it came down to going to get the ark, walking it out of the church, putting it in the truck, bringing it back, nobody was left at the end of the meeting but my sons. The three that people say was homosexuals and they just whatever. And my Nana and the prayer warriors was like, we don't have nobody here. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. And they fell out in the floor weeping and crying because they could not believe 
that I would ask them to carry that Ark of the Covenant. But why not? They hard to appear before God. The Lord has transitioned their lives. They walk in as much love for God as anybody else do. But who are we to call to judge anybody? To judge anybody. And it was an honor for them, an overwhelming honor for them to pick that ark up and carry it. And it kind of, kind of, it did something to me. That's all I could say. It, it did something to me. I can't explain, I can't explain this feeling. All I can say is that, you know, when I say we're called to different things, let me tell you what I mean by that. And then not only that, she went on Frank Skin Wonder years before that and said that she had dibbled and dabbled with, you know, women mm. before the same sex. Well, I think you and Wanda both know that I've been there and had those same feelings like, you know, exactly. I took full responsibility in every area because every choice that I made, you know, nobody put a gun to my head. These were my choices. That's right. You know, I'm not uh, embarrassed about my conversions, and that's why I'm not insecure about being around people who have issues and struggles because I've been there. I've done it all. You know, I've, I've did the drugs. I've been with men. I've been with women. At all, all of it, all of it comes out. And Are you until serious? Every, every bit of it. That's my life. I attracted after my own kind. At the same time, she has preached before those before all of those revelations about letting the gays carry the Ark of the Covenant, about her being homosexual, um, back in the 90s, she has preached against homosexuality. She has mm -hmm. said things that would make homosexual people uh, feel uncomfortable. She's preached about certain things that would make homosexual people feel uncomfortable. Or honestly, unworthy truly. of the kingdom of God. Um, right, or unworthy of the kingdom of God. He said, clean it out. He said, go home and clean it out. He said, go home and clean it out. Get them board down the clothes and clean it out. Get them dirty magazines and clean it out. Get them homosexual necklaces and all of earrings and clean it out. And be a man for God. Y'all sit down. I'm going to tell you something. RuPaul is not going to dress me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I said, RuPaul... It's not going to dress me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? These are not our role models. What's the matter with y'all? Which we all are unworthy, but you understand what I'm saying. Exactly. We know that Juanita Bynum says some contradicting things, even down to the fact that her husband beat her up that time in that parking lot. Atlanta police are actively searching for the husband of a well-known television minister. Juanita Bynum tells Atlanta police her husband, Bishop Thomas Weeks, savagely beat her in a hotel parking lot last night. Fox Size Morse Diggs is live in South Atlanta tonight with the exclusive details. Morse? Russ, allegations of extreme violence are what's outlined in this Atlanta police report. And when a bellhop saw Reverend Juanita Bynum being kicked out here in the Renaissance parking lot, he came to her rescue. Last night, police say Bynum allegedly became a victim of domestic abuse. Photographs taken by a relative and released to Fox 5 show her injuries, bruises. Police say the incident occurred at this hotel that sits alongside Hartsfield Jackson Airport. According to a relative, the Reverend Bynum and her husband, who's also a minister, are in the middle of a separation. He asked for a meeting last night, and she agreed to that in the hotel dining room. This relative tells me that that meeting did not go well, and the husband left abruptly. Bynum followed, and a few more words were exchanged in the parking lot, and then things got ugly, according to an Atlanta police report. Juanita Bynum stated her husband, Thomas Weeks, choked her, pushed her down, kicked and stomped her in the Renaissance parking lot. The bellman that was there at the hotel that intervened uh, because of uh, her being assaulted so bad, he had to intervene. That bellhop pulled the two apart in the parking lot and is being labeled a hero by Bynum's family. Atlanta police visited Bynum at the hospital and documented the injuries. Uh, multiple bruising, also with a swelling uh, with the victim too, and she was sort of had to be uh, taken to the hospital and actually seen by hospital personnel. Now, she did not suffer any broken bones right now. Reverend Juanita Bynum is being kept at an undisclosed location. Live from South Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, Morse, thank you. But what a lot of people fail to realize is that not long before that beat up and I'm not in no way making it okay, women abuse. Um, no, not at all. Um, I was in an abusive relationship before, too. But what I'm saying is she sat in a sermon 
and anybody that was there at that sermon or anybody that has seen it before are fully aware that she threatened her husband with bricks. Okay. <laughs> she did. She said she would bust him across the head with a brick, and that's what she told him one day. I saw him come in the ghetto in me, pick up a brick. I said, come on. Come on down here. So I had the brick behind me like this. And I got in my ghetto posture. So the closer he got, he started looking and he saw the brick. By the time he got about from where there to that pole is, he said, Juanita, I said, Wesley, I will knock your head. When he saw the brick, he said, put that brick down, girl. I'm gonna call your daddy. I'm gonna call your daddy right now. You better put that brick down. You better not hit me with no brick. You better put that brick down. You better not hit me with no brick. <laughs> and he stopped backing up at the cell phone time. Put the brick down, Juanita. Juanita, put the brick down. Why you won't hit me with a brick? Put the brick down. She was pulling an Amanda, Amanda show. I'm gonna hit your phone the hell fine by hand. I, I find all of that contradicting. And I really think that she should um, look back at some of these times where she said one thing but acted a different way. Mm -hmm. Or she acted a different way than what she said she was going to act. That leads me into Same recently. Way. Right. Recently, Juanita Bynum. Okay, she goes live. She's been going live since before the pandemic. At three and with me. At three with me, she was doing that a personal segment, talking, sitting down, crisscross applesauce at a desk or on a rug, whatever, whatever, whatever. She's been doing that for a few years, and I've we've been really blessed by those um, at three with me. Truly, over the yeah. years, that um, was the at, beginning of her online ministry. Long right. before all of this happened. Long before, and then eventually, it, see how God had already set the prophets up. Mm -hmm. for that. But law, and then um, she began. She got this studio, and in this studio, she began to go live and preach from this studio. Mm -hmm. And it got really heavy when COVID got heavy. You know, her views was up. Um, I was sharing it a lot. We were watching it a lot. We were being blessed by it. But we wanted to. Anyway, so eventually we ended up. Uh, See, I forgot what I, I, I forgot what I was saying. I'm very, very intrigued by her ministries and by her way of teaching or preaching. Um, but the other day, she let Linda Wilson have it. I'm not, I'm not, oh, no, 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 I'm not scared no more, Linda Wilson. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm preaching what God told me to preach. Why, wow, you got so many words. It's because of him. Listen, if I'm a Jezebel, I'm God's kind. Hold on, Messiah. You want to say something on my page? I'm going to say something back. That's right. That's right. Because you're blind. That's why you can't see. Listen, I survived CNN, lady. I survived NBC and ABC and CBS. I survived every network from around the world. My face is on every newspaper all over the world. I was on TMZ, the only Christian in the history of the world. My name is in the encyclopedia. I'm number three in history. You're too small to shake me. Then I done got confused. Wait, 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 wait. You can come in my inbox as many times as you feel like it. Y'all gonna look her up. Look her up. Look her up. Go to Linda Wilson's page and look her up. Good Lord, have mercy. God, help me. You can show up. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Because I'm a prophet. Why are you doing that? Because God sent Elijah to confront the lying prophet. Uh -huh. You want to prophesy who I am? Then I'm legal in the scripture to confront you. Thou don't even have 20 likes on nothing you have posted. And I ain't never been to your page. Uh -huh. that's, the, that's them six like people who, who want some attention. Hold on, Messiah. I don't want y'all to be shook. But listen to what she said early 2021, late 20. 20. Listen to this. Do you not know that the brain will defend itself? That's, that's why you don't have to open your mouth. You don't have to open your mouth. The brain will defend itself. If you give it the information that it needs, it will defend you. 
Yeah, this is the reason why I don't move when I hear crazy stuff about me. And somebody, oh, they said this and they said that. And, and what you going to do about it? And if I was you out, nope. 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 Because I have something in my brain that speaks truth to the lie. I have truth in my brain. I know people are like, no, you not making her look contradicting like that. And I know also people are like, you know, people, every woman's got a breaking point, y'all. I used to hate that song. Whose song is that? Carrie. Carrie. hate that song they played b103 hot 1079 you turn from b103 because you don't want to hear that shit. and you turn to hot 1079 and they playing it you, you like damn atlanta y'all can't get enough of this k ass bitch carrie hilson right. kater hilson carrie hilson every woman and a breaking point meow meow but you know what put my foot off in your ass <laughs> who said that kurt <laughs> I think that would hurt. I don't think it's what I put it there. We're breaking that up in a minute. Anyway, one Tita Bynum went in. When I tell you, we were laughing. Jay was laughing so hard last night, and then I began to laugh. But he was laughing because he's the one that put this together. I put him in charge of creative directory. That's the word. Well, and I didn't give him no direction on how to put this thing together, y'all. It was fun. So the shadiness of this video that we're about to play didn't come from me. It was funny. Jay made this video. And roll the tape. Roll your tapes back. <laughs> roll them back. Roll them back. <laughs> Who said that? Nene. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Nene so much. Play it. Okay, I know. Let's play it. I'm not, I'm not, uh, no, 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 I'm not scared no more, Linda Wilson. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and I'm preaching what God told me to preach. Do you not know that the brain will defend itself? That's, that's why you don't have to open your mouth. Why you got so many words? Yeah, this is the reason why I don't move when I hear crazy stuff about me. Because I'm, I'm, listen, if I'm a Jezebel, uh, I'm God's kind. Hold on, Messiah. You want to say something on my page? I'm going to say something back. That's right. That's right. Because you're blind. That's why you can't see. And somebody, oh, they said this and they said that. And, and what you going to do about it? If I was you out, nope. Listen, I survived CNN, lady. I survived NBC and ABC and CBS. I survived every network from around the world. My face is on every newspaper all over the world. I was on TMZ, the only Christian in the history of the world. My name is in the encyclopedia. I'm number three in history. You're too small to shake me. Nope. Nope. Because I have something in my brain that speaks truth to the lie. Then I done got confused. Wait, 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 wait. You can come in my inbox as many times as you feel like it. If you give it the information that it needs, it will defend you. Y'all go look her up. Look her up. Look her up. Go to Linda Wilson's page and look her up. Good Lord, have mercy. God, help me. You can show up. Nope. Nope. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Because I'm a prophet. Why are you doing that? Because God sent Elijah to confront the lying prophet. Uh -huh. You want to prophesy who I am? Then I'm legal in the scripture to confront you. I have truth in my brain. Thou don't even have 20 likes on nothing you have posted. And I ain't never been to your page. Uh -huh. that's, the, that's them six like people who, who want some attention. Hold on, I I don't want y'all to be shook. You don't have to open your mouth. But she'll probably come back and apologize. Anyway, speaking of wanting to bind them, she don't come and apologize. She said, "Look, the Lord directed me." She okay, confronted Put them three likes. <laughs> oh, she did. I said, "We ain't reducing this to three likes, right? We're reducing this to how many likes one Tita get and Linda Wilson get." Oh man. No, 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 he blocked us. My mama didn't even let me tell her why Jamal Bryant blocked us. She said, let me call you back. I'm not a fan. I'm not a supporter. I'm not a follower. I'm not none of that. Let me. You know what I should do? I should call my mama, hook her up to this, and tell her the story while recording. 
And I could just get loose and call my mama right now and let and let y'all hear her opinion. Uh-huh, cause he mad as hell. Cause he mad as hell. No. Don't do that. Anyway, this is what happened. Jamal Bryant is the lead pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta. The current lead pastor. He's not the man that built the church. He's not the man that created the church. He's not the man that created the name. As we all know, in Atlanta, whoever's watching, if you don't know, Bishop Eddie L. Long is the man that created New Birth. He built it from ground up. He bought the land. Okay. And um, he died recently, probably like three, two or three years ago. And Jamal Bryan out of Boston, a mega church in Baltimore, I mean, um, moved down and won the lottery. I guess it was like a lottery raffle. And yeah, pastors, he would hit the lottery. Yeah, the, they had to kind of submit their names and submit an application for the church. No matter the scandals that and, Bishop Eddie L. Long had, the church was very coveted from many pastors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even Jay won. felt something when he went. And we had a personal meeting with Bishop Long before he died. I'm, I'm just giving you guys an idea of how how close I was to him um, or how personal our relationship was. Not to say that it was more personal than anyone else's in the church Um, because I I think I was just like an aunt to him. You know, our relationship was like... um, And before you ask, no, he wasn't one of the ones fondling with the peen, allegedly. Okay. But we do have our own stories about that and we'll talk about that later. Anyway... Yeah, bitch, it all. Anyway, Jamal Bryant. Um, so he 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 he's over the church now. And on um, Bible study night, I believe he decided he wanted to post Juanita Bynum as his special guest. This was a a, a, a sermon that Juanita Bynum did in back in early 2000s. So was lighter back in early 2000s at New Birth when Bishop Long was living. And Jamal Bryant to took this video and posted it on New Birth's page and posted in the comments for us to cash app him and cash app New Birth and Givelify is an app uh, website that allows you to give your offering or tie to the church so the Givelify link I believe was also present or the tithe link one of those websites um, and no link to Juanita Bynum the least he could have did was put her tag down there so that people could go to her page it was as if we were being blessed by the woman of God people were commenting saying wow where is she I haven't heard from her in a long time I love this woman of God and you got your cash up sitting up here to my give to me thank you and you weren't you ain't even touch present. nobody right no. now. And he wasn't even present at that sermon. Well, I posted it on my page. Well, you should have posted yourself giving a sermon to see how many people give then. Thank you. Because one of the Bible was blessing their spirits. I begin to go on there and post her true information, her cash app. I posted her tithe link. I posted her Facebook page. All of her information so that people can tie cash to app, the tithing link or to her cash app directly or go to her page and just comment Get and say they were blessed. Yourself, right. right. Um, and I posted all of that, even her name tag, so that her true page, so that people don't think I was a scammer. Of course, there were some people still there saying, stop trying to scam people, blah, blah, blah. And I really wasn't. I actually put the information from Money to Binance original page I'm not only are trying to scam anybody when I have 5,000 friends I don't have three friends with no picture up or a fake picture up you know those are the scam and spam pages when they don't have many friends I clearly have friends and I'm friends on Facebook with Taylor Long and Destiny Long those are Bishop Long's daughter and granddaughter come on now not not Jezebel Giselle okay <laughs> Seriously, so I I, 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 I guess I did call one lady who called me a scammer, a dumb bitch. <laughs> I did say, you know, this is her real information, dumb bitch. <laughs> I think I might have said something like that. And um, after that comment, I was blocked. So I wasn't sure if I was blocked because I was posting money to buy this information. If I was blocked because they thought it was a scam, oh, that was I was blocked posting, because, or was I blocked because I said dumb bitch. But then Jay went on and instead of saying dumb bitch Jay posted that his husband was just blocked by Jamal Bryant for 
posting Juanita Bynum's information. I'm posting Juanita Bynum's information so that you guys can bless her cash app as well as blessing Pastor Jamal Bryant's cash app. Please bless Juanita Bynum's cash app as well as she's the one up here giving this word. And he was blocked next from Jamal Bryant's page. Mm -hmm. And he didn't use one profanity word, one profane word. So um, it just lets me know that Jamal Bryant really didn't want us posting her information. She didn't have anything mm-hmm. to do with the person. Mm-hmm. But later, I did probably feel like, I did feel like, okay, well, maybe they already paid her to no, post this sermon. that's not the point. Um, you should not be posting anybody's true. give lafay donation, offering, or anything when you ain't the one up there. When you are not the one that is up there, you were exactly. not present. You didn't book Juanita Bynum to come exactly. and bless nobody. Exactly. So, you don't post that video as if Exactly. It's you, and then expect somebody to pay you for for somebody else's word That's from true. God. That's that true. is a scam. Is yeah. Why are you talking about we a scam? Right, you a scam. You trying to take her money, and you know I was tagging Winnie to buy them, so I was like, you know what? I think she see all of this because she ain't saying nothing yet, and I was thinking maybe she see all of this because she really didn't say nothing. Well, she um, seen it. I think she somebody done showed her. Somebody done showed her. Yeah, because she went live immediately afterwards, right? Yeah, she went live like immediately afterwards. Anyway, um, I don't care. We no longer have Jamal on Facebook, Jamal Bryant, because, like I said, he felt the need to block us um, because, because he was defrauding someone else's right. sermon, and we were posting her information. So, kudos to you, Jamal Bryant, for blocking us. We don't give a fuck. Um, keep your dick in your pants. That's all I have to say. Keep your fuck. Dick Dirty in dick your pants and take care of them god children. They don't want him to be taking care of them. Taking care of them damn children with your big head ass, ass jug head ass mother. Well, for real, he getting on my damn nerve. F- him. I ain't want him to be the pastor of New Birth either. It would be really nice if Dream Center William Murphy could change, could, 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 could become the pastor of New Birth, but we would need him to change the name to. Dreams New Birth's Dream Center of Atlanta. They're not going to let him change the name of New Birth. Yeah, I know. Because it's a brand. It's a what? It's a brand. And that's the reason why they allowed Jamal Bryant to come in because he could be a brand ambassador, not so much a spokesperson or right. the right pastor. He's able to get them more money. The church was going to go bankrupt yeah, after he died. And they didn't have a sitting pastor. Exactly. You're right about that. And then the congregation was getting lower, and people are loyal. It's like when somebody on YouTube died, you don't want to go to her sister page. She did. I ain't trying to go to her sister page. Right. You know? Then you find an alternative, but it ain't that person. Mm-hmm. You know? That is true. You're right about that. Um, That's crazy, but oh well, Jamal Bryant. Just pray and tuck your dick, okay? Keep it in your pants. Try to get Stop a cage off. for that motherfucker. I'm gonna give it, okay. a, give it a lock and a key. Okay, and that's just the truth. Anyway, I'm your boy Week Evolution. Make sure you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at the Urban Bench. Also at Rebel TV on Twitter on Instagram. Um, and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Uno's dos tres cuatro. Nigga.